If you look at football, the Virginia Tech helmet ratings have set the standard. All the manufacturers are only making five-star helmets now. If you look at hockey, there's extreme interest from parents, from coaches, from league organizers. They're calling and emailing daily. When are the ratings coming out? Because people understand now they have an independent way to look at the performance of their hockey helmet. We've completed what we call Hockey Star, which is evaluating hockey helmets and how they perform for hockey players. The idea is to reduce injury risk, reduce concussion in hockey players. So we've done over almost 2,000 tests to look at reducing head accelerations for hockey players. In hockey, you have player-to-player -player impact, so you could have head-to-head, -head, shoulder-to-head, but you also have rigid surfaces. You can fall and hit the ice, you can hit the boards, you can hit the glass. So it's a different playing field and environment than football, and in some cases, more severe impacts. The cost of hockey helmets can range from $30 to almost $300. One of the things we found is there's no correlation to cost and performance. Some of the most expensive didn't perform well, some of the cheaper helmets perform better. We want to move forward. We want to work with the manufacturers to build better products. This is the first time with the Virginia Tech rating system that manufacturers have a motivation to make a better performing product. They all want to do this, uh, but there's so much research, there's so much science now that shows reducing head acceleration reduces concussion risk. And now with this technique, we think they can make products to help that.